for that? Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here in Vancouver, Washington with former OHS student, uh, class of 98? 96. Whoa, you're old. Pretty old. Class of 96, Michael Howes, who is a uh, senior acoustic uh, engineer. Yeah, uh, senior systems engineer in acoustics at uh, some company. At some company. At some company that I'm not saying. We're, we've got these issues about whether or not we can mention the company he works for. Interesting. But look at the label on your... Uh, on your uh, Computer mouse, for instance. Your computer mouse, for instance, or the little camera attached to the top of it. This is true. It's a technical company. Yes. And for technical reasons, we're not technically yeah. saying that. Technically, no, we're not going to say it is. This is his ear. He works with uh, microphones and speakers. And you guys are really getting into speakers a lot. Uh, yep, lots of speakers. And headsets. And so uh, they have these testing for, uh, for measuring... Uh, how your human hear, ear hear things, and this is actually your ear. It's actually, well, it's a rubber replica of my ear. Okay, so it's not actually your no, ear. No, no, I still have of mine. Ear because yes. you, they, they let you keep yours. True, they, they did. All right, well, Michael's going to show us uh, some of the different applications of the physics that uh, we learn in high school physics and how he's using them every single day. Every day. Every day. Right now, we're in a semi anechoic chamber. What in the world does that mean? An echoic, as in. No echo. No echo. So the sound may sound differently on the microphones. This should be an interesting uh, an It interesting actually bit. should. All right, how does this work? What does this actually do to the sound? Is this well, uh, sound is uh, based on wavelength and frequency, so they're tied together. Um, so the lower the wavelength, the longer the physical, or the lower the frequency, the longer the physical wavelength of sound. Um, and so basically... The larger the actual dimension of the wedge, the lower in frequency sound it will help to um, absorb or uh, get rid of, I guess you could say, in the room. Fair enough. So this, for instance, wouldn't help with what kind of sounds? Really, very low frequency low sounds frequency, wouldn't be very effective. Because the waves are way bigger than this than this Correct. pattern, and so it really wouldn't have an effect on that. Uh, this is an antenna. We're in a room here where they're trying to measure electromagnetic signals that are being give, given off. And as it turns out, each one of these is a small antenna. The length of this particular antenna corresponds to a quarter wavelength of whatever signal it's trying to detect. So if I can measure this, and let's just say it's 10 centimeters, then it's trying to detect a wave that's 40 centimeters. So this antenna would be 10 centimeters. It would correspond to a 40 centimeter uh, wavelength. The frequency would be equal to 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 0.4. The walls are coated with a styrofoam material just to make the room light. Uh, these, as we can see, are much larger, so they would uh, tend to uh, uh, prevent longer wavelengths. These spiky little things would tend to prevent shorter wavelengths from, from reflecting around the room. And uh, there's all sorts of other materials that they use to, uh, to prevent stray radiation from being detected. So basically, what's your job here? Well, I, um, I play with microphones, speakers, and headphones. I solve problems for the company. And then, um, you know, I uh, get to go to the, some large consumer stores, and I uh, see the results of my effort on the store shelves. So that's pretty good. You enjoy it? I do. How long have you been here? Seven and a half years. So straight out of college. Straight out of college. All right. You make a good living? I make a good living. Okay.